हेलो ऑल डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द सीरीज बाय मेड इजी सो इन दिस सीरीज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन विथ यू ऑल वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इन अ मैनर इट विल गिव यू द कॉन्सेप्ट एज वेल सो दैट द क्वेश्चन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट इन द अपकमिंग एग्जाम if the different variety of the question will come from the same concept you will be able to solve so let's read the question this question was asked in ec branch in the year 2020 let's read the question the pole zero map the pole zero map of the rational function gs is given below when the closed loop when the closed contour this is the closed contour this is the closed contour is mapped into gs plane mapped into gs plane mapped into gs plane which plane gs plane we are going to map into gs plane this is very important that is the reason i am focusing on this line much okay come to the next statement then the mapping n circles means the question is totally related with respect to the encirclement concept so in order to teach you through this question the encirclement concept i have collected few data and from that data i am going to conclude the concept and with respect to that concept we are going to hit this particular question and we will mark the answer whatever the given statement in the option we are not going to read right now first we are going to develop our concept of encirclement so let's see here arbitrary i have chosen a closed contour in this way this is a closed contour i have considered it is very clear in front of you on which plane s plane so definitely this is the real axis and the imaginary axis okay the closed contour i have arbitrary chosen represented by this rectangle and this is nothing but minus 1 and this is nothing but minus 4 so all the things will very clear to us come to the point come to the point i just want to give you the idea if this is the s plane contour so let us take one by one the function gs randomly i have chosen gs equal to s plus 5 randomly i have chosen gs is equal to s plus 5 okay so here what we will do what we will do we will put all the one by one values of we will put all the values of the closed contour okay and then we will we will map the plot on the gs plane we will map the plot on the gs plane this is nothing but the gs plane so this is the real gs axis this is the imaginary gs axis so what will happen you will get somewhat the plot in that way what are the conclusion from here this particular closed contour and this was a function the function was having a zero at minus 5 and minus 5 is out of the contour so when we map this closed contour into gs plane is not going to encircle the origin means what the closed contour must have the number of pole or zero then only their corresponding plot on the gs plane going to encircle the origin so this is the concept the statement number 1 okay this is the con considered function gs now the next gs i am going to consider here now i am going to consider this is my gs don't don't see this this is the gs means here again a zero and that zero is nothing but at minus 3 by 2 so minus 3 by 2 definitely lie under this particular closed contour and that closed contour we are moving in a clockwise direction you can observe very clearly so what will happen if we put all the points of this closed contour in this particular function we will get the value of gs and once we will put or mark the values we are getting of gs in a plane that is nothing but on gs plane where it is the real of gs this is the imaginary of gs axis so we will get a plot after mapping into gs plane like that what we are observing we are observing 
वंस द जीरो इज इनसाइड दैट क्लोज कंटूर द प्लॉट इज गोइंग टू एन सर्कल द ओरिजिन क्लॉक वाइज इन वॉट वे क्लॉक वाइज वेन वी आर मूविंग इन द क्लोज कंटूर क्लॉक वाइज Due to the presence of zero inside that, the plot is going to encircle the origin clockwise. This is the conclusion statement number two. We must keep this point in our mind. So now let us take few more example. So this is my third example to build the concept. I have taken the function g s equal to one upon s plus two. What are you observing? Yes, here one pole, and that pole. is lying inside the closed contour or not yes lying inside the closed contour so whenever you are going to map this arbitrary chosen closed contour once we put all the values here in this gs and we are going to get the value of gs and that values of gs if we are going to introduce in a plane that is nothing but on gs hs plane or we can say on gs plane so this is the real of gs this is the imaginary of gs we are getting the plot somewhat in that way we are not focusing on the magnitude right now we are just building the concept because already we have done everything in the class in detail here with respect to the question we are just again discussing so we can recall our concept in a better way what we are getting here our plot is encircling the origin anti clockwise when we move clockwise in arbitrary chosen closed contour in s plane and their corresponding mapping into gs plane due to the pole inside that contour what we are observing the plot is going to encircle the origin the same number of times in the anti clockwise direction so here i am writing counter clockwise direction due to the pole counter clockwise direction due to the presence of zero in the closed contour clockwise direction this is the next statement the statement number 1 from this example statement number 2 from this example statement number 3 from this example let us take one more example that is nothing but the fourth example here where i have chosen randomly i have chosen gs equal to s plus 5 and the same s plane i have considered here in this arbitrary chosen closed contour is it lying inside or not yes s equal to minus to the zero lying inside that chosen closed contour and in the closed contour as we are moving in the clockwise direction and once we put all the values here in gs we will get the value of gs and once the all value of gs we are going to put on the plane that is nothing but gs plane we are getting a plot on gs plane this is the real axis of gs this is the imaginary axis of the gs what we are going to observe the plot is looking like something in the way where the plot is now encircling the origin the same number of times the zeros present inside that closed contour arbitrary chosen closed contour in the s plane and in what direction yes clockwise direction so from here with this discussion it is enough conclusion because the detailed conclusion already we have discussed in the class during the lectures we are just revising here the statement to hit to mark the answer of this particular question when we have chosen a particular closed arbitrary contour in a s plane and if we are moving in a clockwise direction if the function will have a pole here inside their corresponding mapping into gs plane will encircle the origin counter clockwise the same number of times due to the presence of pole clockwise in the direction when we map into gsss plane the encircled origin in the clockwise means with respect to pole anti clockwise with respect to zeros clockwise with respect to pole the uh, the plot is going to encircle counter clockwise with respect to the presence of zero inside the closed contour the plot going to encircle the origin in the clockwise direction and definitely the same number of time that pole and zero present inside here so now what is the question in this particular question this is the closed contour which is in which we are moving in the clockwise direction how many zeros are there three zeros inside that three zeros inside that means 
three zeros inside. That means our plot in GS plane, in our plot in GS plane will encircle origin. Will encircle origin because we are considering with respect to GS plane. Will encircle origin due to three zeros, due to zeros, due to zeros, due to zeros clockwise. So we can say what three clockwise. We can say what three clockwise. Now, how many poles are inside the closed contour? Two. Due to pole, it will be counterclockwise. So how many counterclockwise? Two counterclockwise. We can mark in the similar way. In a simple way, we can consider in that way. So what will be the resultant? The resultant is going to be one clockwise encirclement of the origin. The resultant plot is going to encircle origin how many times? Once in which direction? Clockwise direction. So what can we say? The origin of GS plane once in the clockwise direction like that the option B is available. So I hope you have learned the concept of encirclement through this simple question itself. The question is now simple for you. This type of the variety asked only once in this particular 2020 examination. But the similar way in a different possible data, the examiner can ask the question in upcoming examination. If you have the clear concept in your mind, you will not confuse yourself and you will be able to mark the correct answer with the confidence within few seconds so that you can save your time for the other tough questions as well. Thank you. Thank you.